Hello, I'm Sumit Singh. I'm a consultant geriatrician with a specialist interest in dementia and I work at the Lister Hospital as my NHS base and also at One Hatfield Hospital. So for most people, occasional lapses in memory are a normal part of the ageing process and not a warning sign of serious mental deterioration or the onset of dementia. For example, things like occasionally forgetting where you left objects that you use regularly, such as your glasses or keys, forgetting the names of acquaintances, blocking one memory with a similar one, for example, calling your grandson your son's name, occasionally forgetting an appointment or walking into a room and forgetting why you entered. So the key question to ask is whether the memory loss affects the person's ability to function and do the things they need to do as part of their everyday life. So the term dementia describes a set of symptoms that may include memory loss, and difficulties with thinking, problem solving or language that have become severe enough to affect normal day-to-day -day activities. Dementia is caused by different disease processes that affect the brain, with Alzheimer's disease being the most common cause of dementia, but not the only one. Other types of dementia include vascular dementia and dementia with Lewy bodies. So a person with dementia will have what we term cognitive symptoms, which are to do with memory and thinking. And some of the common types of symptoms are as follows. So memory loss, especially short-term memory, for example, difficulty remembering recent events or experiences, names, appointments, and asking the same question repeatedly. Also problems with planning or organizing, for example, difficulty performing familiar tasks. People with dementia, We'll often find it hard to complete everyday tasks that are so familiar we usually do not have to think about how we do them. So a person with dementia, for example, may find it difficult to work out the order of putting on their clothes or the steps for preparing a meal. Problems with language, for example, finding the right words for something and also visual spatial skills, for example, problems judging distances and seeing objects in three dimensions. Problems with orientation, for example, losing track of the day or date, or becoming confused about where they are. So poor or reduced judgment, for example, people with dementia may dress inappropriately, wearing several layers of clothes on a warm day or very few on a cold day. Problems with keeping track of things or concentrating, for example, a person with dementia may find it difficult to follow a conversation or a television program. And misplacing things, you know, all of us can temporarily misplace our wallet or keys, but a person with dementia may put things in unusual places, for example, their keys in the fridge or a wristwatch in a sugar bowl. Changes in mood or behaviour. So a person with dementia will also often have changes in their mood. They may become frustrated or irritable, apathetic or withdrawn, anxious, easily upset or unusually sad. Also changes in personality. So people with dementia may seem different from their usual self, for example, they may become suspicious, irritable, depressed, anxious or agitated, especially in situations where memory problems are causing difficulties. With some types of dementia, the person may see things that are not really there, which is termed as visual hallucinations, or strongly believe things that aren't true, which is termed delusions. The different types of dementia tend to affect people differently, especially in the early stages. So it's time to consult a specialist when memory lapses become frequent enough or sufficiently noticeable to be of concern to you or your family member. And the memory clinic here at One Hatfield Hospital offers a package that provides a comprehensive assessment of cognition, which is memory and thinking, and brain health to support diagnosis and management plans in a very streamlined and efficient way. So the memory clinic package here at One Hatfield includes an initial in-depth assessment with a specialist consultant who will discuss your symptoms and concerns as part of taking a detailed history and clinical examination. As part of the assessment there will be a comprehensive cognitive assessment to assess the, in detail the higher brain functions, including memory. Also, as part of the investigations, we undertake a blood test panel to assess for reversible causes of cognitive decline. Also, as part of the investigations, we will undertake an MRI brain scan to 
look at the brain from a structural point of view, and this is reported by a dedicated neuroradiologist. After all these investigations and assessment, there will be a follow-up consultation with the specialist where the clinical diagnosis and management strategies will be explained and discussed. So early diagnosis is beneficial because it allows us to identify and treat potentially reversible causes of memory loss, for example, depression or thyroid problems or certain vitamin deficiencies. It provides the affected person and their family with an explanation for their symptoms, which helps them to come to terms with things, enables them to be better equipped to cope with disease progression. It also allows the person with dementia to prepare for the future and plan ahead. For example, making decisions about their financial and legal affairs while they still have the mental capacity to do so. It also gives people with dementia a better chance to benefit from the available drug therapies and non-drug therapies that we currently have that can improve cognition and enhance their quality of life. And identifying the type of dementia, for example, Alzheimer's versus vascular dementia, is particularly important in this regard. So we can see patients here at the memory clinic at One Hatfield, either through self-referral, so the patient can refer themselves directly to the clinic here or, or their family members, or through the GP, 